Someone said to me, if you want us to vote for you in 2024, you must abandon uh, this thing of uh, foreigners. Uh, now I'm prepared to go home. Now I'm fine. I'm ne I will never take a platform and denounce Africans. I will never do it. If it means votes are going, let them go. Now I'm prepared to go home. But to take a platform and please white minority by pointing a finger at my other fellow black brothers, I'm not going to do that. When I see a Nigerian or a Zimbabwean or a Congolese or Ghanaian, I see myself. EFF can commission a internal research to see to what extent is this thing hurting the EFF. But I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared to take a platform and say foreigners must go home. I would rather not be a president of South Africa. I will be a president of my children at home. We will practice cabinet there. Ah, no, I don't want. I must go and, and, and tell these hungry Zimbabweans to leave here. And when I, leave, and I tell them to leave, I send them to where? To die. To die. I would rather die with them than to allow them to die alone. If this thing has cost us municipalities and the people who say I must resign, I will resign. For Africans, I will resign. For black people, I will resign. I have no problem. I saw some tweets saying, no, the CIC must step down. If it's for this, I'm, I'm ready. If Bukona, if you are against it now, on the basis that I support Africans, let it be. I don't care. What makes me at night is that white people in this country say they are prepared to work with everyone except the EFF, except Julius Malema. I sleep at night. The enemy is not happy with me. I don't want the enemy to be happy with me. And the enemy has accepted that it has got no control over me. It doesn't control me. I've not taken its money. The state can use its own institutions to try and threaten us and do all manner of things. Investigators from 2008 and whatever, yes, were fine. We're not scared of anything. But one thing we know, we have never stolen anyone's money and we don't take money from anyone that will control us. So please be aware that the stance on Africans remains. It goes nowhere. We are for a united Africa. And we can't unite it by dividing it. We want one Africa, one currency, one president, one military, uh, and the one reserve bank. So we are very clear about it. It is in our founding manifesto to ask me to move from that. You are asking me to compromise on non-negotiable cardinal pillars of the EFF. I can't do that. I'm sorry. Thank you. If you want more candid speeches like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to catch all our latest videos. And please feel free to leave your suggestions, news tips, or topics about Africa you'd like us to cover.